Spanning some 134,000 acres near Hattiesburg, Mississippi, Camp Shelby, an Army National Guard training facility, is a place where longleaf pine forests remain and provide habitat critical to a wide array of species. Here, the Nature Conservancy researches animals that make their home among the camp's longleaf pine forest and pitcher plant wetlands. These animals include gopher tortoises, black pine snakes, eastern coach whip snakes, and eastern diamondback rattlesnakes. They're very strong. And there's a root in the way. Right. But you can see those huge shovel-like forelimbs with those claws, just perfect for digging. And that's what he was, that's why it took so long to get him out. He just chunked those into the side of the, the <laughs> tunnel and they are very strong. There he goes. Fit under that root just fine when I wasn't trying to get him out. Because a two-year study at Camp Shelby revealed a 100% mortality rate among gopher tortoises hatched in the wild, the Nature Conservancy began a Head Start program to help the endangered animals repopulate. Eggs are collected from the field and placed in incubators, where they hatch. After hatching, they're kept in the lab for about two weeks, where they're fed a diet of clover, kale, and lettuce. They're then moved to a Head Start pen, which is covered with mesh netting above and wire netting below to prevent predation, the primary cause of death among juvenile gopher tortoises. In 2007 and 2008, the Conservancy released 55 gopher tortoises from the Head Start pen, ranging from hatchlings to three-year-olds. Conservancy staff track the tortoises weekly using radio telemetry in an effort to determine not only causes of mortality, but also what kind of habitat they prefer and whether there's an age at which they stand a better chance of survival. Nature Conservancy researchers at Camp Shelby also use radio telemetry to track rare snakes. This is one of the uh, snake traps or herp fauna traps that we, we erected at this site. Um, it's 300 feet long, um, well 100, 100 meters long, and along it there's six box traps. These are the, trans, the various transmitters that we use. So this would be for an extra small snake. These have a very small range, 14 counties in Mississippi, three counties in Alabama, and one parish in Louisiana. And again, they're most frequently, just like all of the other coach whips and diamondbacks, are most frequently found on Camp Shelby. I'm holding in my left hand a one-month-old eastern coach whip and in the right hand approximately a, a one-and-a-half to two-year-old coach whip. Um, they're fairly uncommon throughout most of Mississippi with the exception of the DeSoto National Forest, um, primarily because it's a large area that has a lot of habitat for them. Total, total length um, that they can get is about eight feet in length so they can be a, a fairly large animal. Within the longleaf pine forest at Camp Shelby are pitcher plant wetlands, which are home to a creature found nowhere else on earth, the Camp Shelby burrowing crayfish. At Camp Shelby, the Nature Conservancy also monitors populations of and habitat preferred by this crayfish. While the animal species at Camp Shelby are varied, most share a common need for fire that maintains their habitat. Lonely pines uh, typically I have a nice open canopy, very little mid-story where the shrubs are, and then a really dense herbaceous ground cover. And when, they're, when the fire is suppressed from an area, that shrub cover grows up really thick and it limits the amount of sunlight actually hitting the ground. So the fire is good in that it keeps the, that shrub layer down, the hollies and the oaks, um, that way a lot more vegetation will grow on the ground that's good for a lot of animals from quail and deer to the endangered species 
Thank you, go for tortoises. And, um...